Hey guys, and welcome back to Ursula's Farmhouse Kitchen. Today, I would like to show you how I'm gonna pack up all of my fall things from Thanksgiving and before. I've had a lot of fall things in different rooms of the house, like the kitchen, the living room, the dining room, and now I've got them all on my table in my dining room, and I'm gonna turn the camera around to show you what all I have to put away. And then we'll get started on decorating for Christmas. Are you excited about Christmas? I am excited. I've been working myself up about, you know, what I want to do this year in the way of decorating. And um, I'm trying to decide where I want to put the tree. I usually put the tree over here by the stairs. And I'll probably put it there anyway because that's where we have the much room. But in this video, you'll see me packing up all of my fall things and getting out the things that I already have for Christmas. And I'm gonna show you a few items that I've gotten recently for Christmas, for de um, Christmas decor. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what I'm packing up first. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a lot of packing up to do and not a lot of containers. I have Christmas containers, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty my Christmas containers and put in my fall things. And then when I go back to Lowe's or Walmart or Home Depot or something, I'm going to get some more containers to put the fall things in. Um, the pillows, most of these, like this is just a plain pillow here. It's not a pillow cover, but some of these are just pillow covers with um, pillows underneath. So I'm gonna be washing the pillow covers because they've been on the couch and the puppies jump on the couch. Um, so I'm also gonna be washing this too. This is a fall table runner. And I know some of y'all are thinking, well, you know, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. But y'all, I've had this fall decor out since the beginning of August. And I love the pumpkins, don't get me wrong, but I'm ready to see some Christmas in here. So, um, and this is like a fall arrangement, so I'm gonna take that whole thing upstairs. I usually just put everything in a walk-in closet upstairs. So that's what I'm planning to do. And um, this, this throw, I've already washed that fresh this week, so it's good to go. And my beautiful wreath that I had on the front door, the inside of the front door, um, my friend Kim made it, and I just love it. I love it, Kim, thank you so much. I've had it a couple of years now, and I just love it. And she also made me a Christmas wreath, and I'll show you that one in a few minutes. Okay, so now I'm gonna start packing everything. I've just got some True Living storage totes several months ago. I think I got four or five of these, and these are quite small. So these are like a, a medium size. I should have gotten a size larger. But I'm gonna go ahead and start placing my pumpkins in those little storage bins. And um, y'all just um, enjoy while I pack, okay? I'm gonna play some pretty music, hopefully, here. Sitting by the fire Feeling all so fine On this holy night The Spirit guides us All the stars they shine On this lovely night we Light up the world Forget our troubles for a moment And every stranger is a friend So let them join in Cause when joy fills the air You already know it's Christmas Love beyond compare It's Christmas time Cause when joy fills the air You already know it's Christmas Love beyond compare It's Christmas time we're singing heartfelt carols in the night Warm embrace of spirits bright We're family and friends unite We light up the world, forget our troubles for a moment And every stranger is a friend so let's... Now for the 
for the hard part, taking out all the pillows from the, from the pillow covers. It's always a little bit tricky. Mine are so stuffed. definitely going in the laundry. And like I said earlier, these um, pillows that are, these are normal pillows that I usually have on my couch. This is a great time to fluff these in the dryer and get them freshened up. And I'll probably just uh, fluff them for 20 minutes. So now I'm going to show you some things that I've been doing today to get ready for the Christmas season. I did take all of my fall things away. I took them down and put them in storage bins and I put most of the, my things upstairs in a um, walk-in closet and I'm trying to keep it really organized with bins. Um, I do have a few things that I still need to take upstairs, so that's, you know, that's fine. I'll get that done tonight or tomorrow morning, but right now I want to show you some things, some ideas that I've got for decorating, and um, I'm also going to show you the things that I've cleared off, the different furniture pieces that I've cleared off, and I've dusted very well today, so hey, let's go. Let's do this. The first thing I wanted to tell you was the TV screen. I've got it on free TV art gallery, and there's several different uh, ones that do this, YouTube uh, YouTubers. So you're welcome to um, download these free, you know, YouTube channels are free. And um, then down below the TV stand, I've been dusting off this area. These are some of the things that I left on the shelves that you know, you could actually have those on there any time of the year. Like there's a neutral candle. I did put some acorns under it. I love acorns with candles. And there's a mirror and another little candle. Um, I need to hide some cords, it looks like. Y'all don't look. And then I have the cross there. I'm not sure if the cross will stay there, but I'm just gonna leave those items down there. And I do love this wooden dachshund that my sister gave me. Um, he's standing up. So anyway, I tried to, you know, clear out most of the most of the shelving there because I had a lot of family pictures there. So that's no longer there, and I'll store that, you know, during the Christmas season and put it back later. And I am going to try to hide those cords. I know there's a way. I can at least get some cable ties for those. Now let's look over here at my mantle, the fireplace and mantle. I I did leave those um those old fashioned irons right there, they're antique irons, I like that look. And um, the A, I might take that away. That's for our last name, acreage. I love the candles there, the um, neutral candles. They, to me, they look good. I, I really am not a fan of the red candles on the mantle. I just, I like the neutral. But anyway, I'm trying to get my ideas together. I do want to get some garland, the beautiful Norfolk uh, pine garland, and I don't have that yet, and that's gonna go across the top and maybe just hang on the side, on one side, because that's what a lot of people are doing nowadays. Um, I did go ahead and put my cute little red truck down here for the doormat. The tag is showing, I have to fix that. Okay, that looks better. 
Now walking over here, I've been clearing off a lot in the kitchen. And um, I've got a lot of the lights turned low because of the, the lights. Well, okay, that looks all right. Sometimes the lights make too much light in here. But I tried to straighten up my little snacks over here. We usually keep some chips. I've got some almonds for my husband and me. And we sometimes get a sweet tooth. So I have some sweet tarts in there. And we keep our cookies in here. Because to me it doesn't fit the bread as well. I just put my bread products up here in the cabinet. But over here I've got some sourdough that's ready to for me to um, get ready for the oven. And I've got my Dutch oven ready. So I'm gonna be baking some sourdough later tonight. Now I do have my cutting boards here and in all of my videos, you see these. Well, guess what I found? This is my Thanksgiving dachshund plate. And I had gotten it, I think from Hobby Lobby last year or the year before. I'm gonna let it stay out, but everything else is gonna be Christmas. Um, and as soon as Thanksgiving's over, I'll put that away. But I just got it out today, and I didn't want to waste it this year by leaving it in the in the cupboard. So anyway, I think that looks cute. But um, I do want to do some Christmassy stuff over here because I'm going to do a gingerbread theme this year. I still love this little neutral candle. I like to put it out a lot with the little wreath that's neutral. You can have this any time of the year. This little um, cloche. It's good for putting cookies or cupcakes or, you know, whatever you want to put in there. You could put a slice of homemade bread, and that would be fine in there. And I keep this um, Pampered Chef uh, air fryer out all the time. I just use it so much, it has to stay out. And I think it's a staple in every kitchen. Everyone needs an air fryer. Now, I also cleared out this dining room table because earlier today... Um, and, and I have, I have it in this same video. This table was filled with pumpkins. So I have been working today. I have been working on trying to get it all cleared. Um, I did leave the little Christmas cactus here. I just got it yesterday at Lowe's or one day this week. And I just brought this out to make sure that the battery still works. So I'm, I'm just really trying to organize the things that I have for Christmas this is not where it's gonna stay. So, um, and it has two sets of batteries. Let's see if this other one, yep, those work too. So anyway, and I did find my um, table runner, my Christmas Buffalo Check table runner. So I'll put that on in a few minutes. And um, I do have things that I have to put underneath because we don't have a lot of storage for like cake stands and all, but I, I know I need to move those. Um, I did have some things left over from last year that I didn't use. I love Buffalo Check, like I just said, and look, I still have some things from last year I can use this year, so that's good. And I have some napkins. I have these paper plates and these paper plates. So I kind of have a hodgepodge of different Christmas plates. Merry and bright. And I also found this platter when I was going through some of my cabinets today. And it says, Merry Christmas, y'all. So I love this plate. I believe this was given to me by my friend Betty. So Betty, let me know if you gave me this. I'm pretty sure you did. Now, this eucalyptus was in here for the fall. I'll probably take that out and put some poinsettias. Over here on the piano, I have some some empty candlesticks so I probably need to put either red or white in those um, and I kind of prefer white instead of red because I've got red here but red red or white candles would be fine in those candlesticks and this is actually a terrarium and I just usually put like a you know um, silk arrangement in there and this is a little baby cloche that I got at Home Goods a few months ago. You can put anything in here. I had acorns in it for the fall, but I'll probably just put some little Christmas balls in there. So y'all are seeing the very first part of my clean spree. Um, 
And I did get this beautiful plant from my sister. It was from my nephew Caleb's funeral and it's just gorgeous. I love that peace lily. So I'm trying to make sure I water it once a week so it'll keep its blooms. And um, I just love that. Okay, now looking over here in the kitchen, I have some things that I want to show you that I got in the last couple of days. I got this, um, I actually got this at the end of Christmas last year, but I never was able to use it. And this came from Hobby Lobby. So it's got the gingerbread um, mint on there. And I think what I'm gonna do is, I am gonna put it over here in front of these, in front of these cutting boards. Let's see how that looks. Do you think I could pull that off? I think I'm gonna have to put that plate somewhere else though. Cause it doesn't go with the dachshund. I think that's cute. Now I need to move this. I think that looks cute. All right, I've got some more gingerbread stuff and um, let's see where I'm gonna put okay. it. I do wanna show you all the things that I got in the last couple of days. Um, I did find some beautiful kitchen towels with dachshunds, so I had to get that. And this was at home, and it was $7.99. It was not on sale. It was just this regular price. So um, I have a really hard time finding things on sale at at home. So if y'all have some ideas about how I can get some good deals, please let me know in the comments, because usually I have to pay regular price at at home. I know occasionally they might send you a coupon if you're a rewards member, which I am. I think you get 15 or 20% off occasionally, like a few times a year, but that's the only sale I know of. Now, I did find these little gingerbread children um, at Hobby Lobby yesterday. Let's see how much these were. These were $7.99 and they were 50% off. So y'all, that was only four bucks. That's really good. Um, and I found, I know y'all, y'all know I'm a dachshund lover. I found this little cutie, this little ornament with the spring. I thought he was adorable. And let's see how much he was. He was $6.99 and I got it half price. So that was really good, like $3.50. And this was so cute. I had to get this. It's a cute little pillow, so I'll put it on the couch, but I'm gonna have to be really careful with Gracie because sometimes she will ruin pillows. I know she did when she was a puppy, and um, she's a little over two now, so hopefully she'll just leave it alone. If I don't call any attention to it, maybe she'll leave it alone. And I look at my wonderful find yesterday that I bought. This was my favorite thing, the gingerbread house. I just love the gingerbread house. I think that I'm gonna um, do gingerbread items like on my TV stand because that's where I have the most room for it. So let's see if that's gonna fit in a few minutes, we'll, we'll see. And another thing that I got was the bell garland. It's on a rope. So you can, you know, put this on your mantle or you could put this, you know, in different areas, really. It doesn't have to be on the mantle, but I'm gonna hang mine on the mantle when I, when I get my garland. And another item that I got this week is a fabric shaver. You know, these sweaters that peel up? Well, this one was at Big Lots and it was only $4.99. That was a great deal because I've noticed that some of my sweaters are starting to peel up. And I wanted to show y'all a few other things. This beautiful door decor, it's a giant ornament is what it is. It came from Hobby Lobby about two weeks ago and it was still half off then. Let's see how much it was. It was $32.99 and I got it half price. So that was a good, good deal. And there was one other thing I wanted to show y'all. I did get this at Lowe's this week and I got it for one of my grand pups the big, big yellow lab. Ruger is gonna love this. So I'm hoping his daddy won't see this video before Christmas. Um, I did also find just a simple um, wreath hanger and it was 
half price. It was eight, it was $7.99, but it was half off a couple of weeks ago. And I just thought the simple black, you know, that just goes with everything. And I did find a gorgeous mug. So I'm gonna give this to one of my one of my sweet relatives for Christmas. I love that coffee mug. And you know, everybody loves coffee, so everybody could use a new mug every year, really. Now, I think that's about everything on this table. So, um, I was going to show y'all a few other things. I have some some pillow covers that I had that I had gotten. I don't know where I got this. I might have even got it at the Dollar Tree, but it's a pillow cover, and it's one of those lumbar long pillows. So you could put this on your bed or the couch, but you just have to put an other a different pillow, you know, inside it. And here are some other pillow covers that I have. I haven't brought the other ones down yet. Let's see. There is the nativity scene. These came from Amazon a few years ago. And there's the cute little red truck. Farm fresh. I like that. Okay, so the next, the next um, part of this video, I'm going to be just putting these things around the house and you can just watch as I do that. And I'm going to play some music. I love Christmas music, so y'all enjoy the music. Sitting by the fire Feeling all so fine on this holy night The Spirit guides us all the stars they shine on this lovely night we light up the world forget our troubles for a moment and every stranger is a friend so let them join in cause when joy fills the air you Singing heartfelt carols in the night Warm embrace the spirits bright Where family and friends unite We light up the world for I think I'll put this on the TV stand This is going to go on the sofa. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in law. This is my favorite little tiny tree. It's from Department 56, and I got it on Amazon. I think it was about $35 a couple of years ago, but I'm sure that they still probably have it on Amazon. It is a very nice item. 
it's very nice. I hope I always have this little tree. And the reason that I love it so much is my mother-in-law has one very similar to it. So I was really copying you, Miss Sylvia. <laughs> it's okay. So I'm gonna, I'm trying to decide where I wanna put it. I might wanna put it in that beautiful cloche that my sister Kim gave me. So I'm gonna go put it in the kitchen. I think I'll put the gingerbread men on the TV stand. That's one pillow stuffed. Here's my red farm truck. So. I remember getting this last year from Hobby Lobby. I love this Merry Christmas pillow. Um, I might just put it, I might actually put it on the fireplace. I had gotten this at Hobby Lobby years ago, probably five or six years ago, but um, my husband's always loved like little campers shaped like this. And it says, Happy Camper at Christmas. So I'm going to put it over here on the wall where I had some other fall decor. And I've already taken it down. But I'll show you in a few minutes. And a beautiful little cranberry wreath I got at the end of the Christmas season last year. Still need to take the tag off. Okay, I like the look of this, except for the cords that are back behind the TV stand. Um, I'm still probably gonna use the mirror over there on the left. I love the little gingerbread children there, and I really like the gingerbread house. Um, I love the truck and the joy. Um, most of these did come from Hobby Lobby. Actually, I think all four of those did come from Hobby Lobby. Now, um, let's see what the fireplace is looking like. This is what I've got so far. I've got the stockings and the pet stockings are hanging together because I wanted to hang the bells. Um, when I get the greenery, I've, I'm gonna actually order it from Amazon. The garland that I was talking about earlier, I wanna get a big piece of pretty garland and let it drape down on just one side where it goes down like probably on the right side. So um, I may or may not leave the stockings up there. I might hang the stockings um, maybe from the staircase this year, I'm not sure. But I usually hang the stockings here. So I'm trying to decide where I should leave the stockings. Hey Stanley, do you need to go outside, baby? Do you wanna go outside? Mommy will open the door for you. You wanna go outside? All right, I did wanna show you the Department 56 um, Christmas tree. I think it looks exquisite in the cloche. It looks so pretty. The only negative I think is about that little tree is you have to change the batteries out about every three to four weeks. And here is where I decided to hang the Merry Christmas huge wooden ornament. I didn't really want to put it outside. I wanted to, it not to get weathered. So I'm going to put a wreath on my the outside of my door. Okay, and here are the cute little towels with the dachshund. And this is what the gingerbread um, cutting board looks like. I think that turned out really cute. Here's the cloche again with the Christmas tree. I love that. That really sparkles with all the lights off. Hey, and here's the TV stand again. This is one of my favorite people, Tori Flores. She's, she inspired me to do on um, Gingerbread Men this year. And here's the fireplace again. 
There's nothing really on the mantle yet. I'm trying to decide if I want to add something else. Usually we have nutcrackers, but I'm thinking about putting them somewhere else. Okay, folks, so this is all I've got for the decorating for Christmas right now. Join me again, and maybe I'll have my tree up, okay? Y'all come back for more.